Welcome to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. Today we're stepping off the beaten path of famous dinosaurs to uncover some lesser known yet utterly captivating creatures. These guys roamed earth way before T-Rexes were the cool kids on the block. Imagine if you had a home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. A universe where you can live and learn all you want about the ancient creatures that occupy your mind. Find it only here on the Dinosaur Channel. Welcome to the Dinoverse. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications, as well as become a member on our channel because it goes a long way to helping us make more awesome videos like this. Subscribe, leave us a dinosaur sized thumbs up, and comment down below a topic you would like to hear us cover in the future. And let's begin our countdown for some truly captivating creatures that existed before the age of the dinosaurs. Number 10, Dimetrodon. In the ancient landscapes of the Permian era around 295 to 272 million years ago, in what is now North America and Europe, the Dimetrodon reigned as a fascinating creature that often gets confused for a dinosaur. But surprise, it's not a dinosaur at all. It's a distant relative of mammals existing millions of years before the dinosaurs strutted onto the sea. Standing at about 11 to 15 feet or 3.5 to 4.5 meters in length and weighing up to 550 pounds or 250 kilograms, Dimetrodon was an apex predator of its time. Its most distinguishing feature was a sail-like structure on its back, made of elongated spines connected by thin membranes. This sail likely played a role in thermoregulation, helping Dimetrodon manage its body temperature by capturing sunlight or dispersing excess heat. It also had amazing robust jaws that were lined with very sharp serrated teeth, ideal for grasping and tearing apart its prey. Dimetrodon roamed the ancient swamps and lowlands hunting prey. This apex predator had a diverse diet likely munching on a variety of smaller animals, including amphibians, reptiles, and even early mammal-like creatures known as other synapsids. Its powerful build and predatory nature placed it at the top of the food chain of that time. And Dimetrodon actually comes from a long-ranging family of incredible other synapsids. There are so many cool animals from this line of evolution, but Dimetrodon is definitely one of the coolest. Number 9. Aeriops Imagine strolling back 300 million years ago and stumbling upon the early and Permian era. These waters were ruled by the formidable Aeriops. This was a hefty amphibian that was likely the crocodile's beefy cousin. It dominated the ancient rivers and lakes with its colossal presence. Found in regions that are now parts of North America, Aeriops was a true water-dwelling behemoth of its time. Measuring about 6 to 10 feet, or around 2 to 3 meters in length, Aeriops was not a creature you'd invite to a tea party. Its crocodilian-like appearance boasted a hefty build and powerful jaws, making it a force to be reckoned with. It probably fed on fish and smaller amphibians, and perhaps even early reptiles that dared to venture into its territory and its behavior was probably a blend of predator and probable ambush specialists. Picture it stealthily lurking through the murky waters waiting for unsuspecting meals to wade close enough before it snaps. It strikes. In the modern world, Ariops might not have had the celebrity status of T-Rex or Velociraptor, but it's often featured in documentaries and educational material, discussing the incredible diversity of the prehistoric amphibians. Number 8. Gorgonopsians. This is one of my personal favorites. Gorgonopsians were the real deal back around 260 million years ago, way before dinosaurs even existed. These predators were the big bosses with saber-toothed jaws. You could find these guys hanging out in what we call Africa and Russia nowadays, ruling the land with their size. And there were no lightweights hitting lengths of about 10 feet or 3 meters. They were pure carnivores. They were all about meat feasting on smaller critters like herbivorous reptiles and early mammal-like creatures. Gorgonopsids have been featured in some popular media, and I think they are one of the coolest prehistoric creatures that ever existed. Number 7. Protochimera. Now let's take a quick dive. Well, more like a dip. Look, there's not much information on this creature. But we'll look into the fascinating world of the Protochimera, an ancient creature that takes us way back to the Lower Carboniferous Era, around 338 to 332 million years ago. This is a long-ass time ago. This is the oldest known member of the Chimeriforms, and we've got some tooth plates from its time chilling out in the deposits of what is now Central Russia. Chimeras are cartilaginous fishes, but they're not technically sharks. It is thought that sharks and chimeras may have diverged up to 420 million years ago. 
Today, many chimera species are limited to the deep ocean. Protochimera were likely a picky eater. Their tooth plate suggested it had a unique diet, probably munching on small prey or tiny critters lurking in the ancient waters. As for its behavior, well, that's a bit trickier. Scientists are piecing together clues to understand how this ancient fish might have moved around and interacted with its environment. Again, there's not too much information, but we know it lived in the ocean, and we know it was probably kind of cute. Number 6. Archaeothyrus Now let's take a stroll back to 306 million years, and meet the OG of reptiles, Archaeothyrus. This little dude is like the great-great-grandparent of the cool reptiles we know today. Picture a small, lizard-like fella, and you've got the Archaeothyrus. It lived in what scientists called the Late Pennsylvanian Era, in what is now North America. Size-wise, Archaeothyrus wasn't breaking any records. Its dimensions clocked in at a whopping 20 to 30 centimeters long, so it's gonna fit in your hand. As for diet, it was pretty much an insectivore, chomping down on bugs and crawling critters that crossed its path. Nothing too fancy, just your classic reptilian snacking routine. Behavior-wise, Archaeothyrus was likely a low-key, stealthy hunter. Snatching up its meals in the undergrowth might have also been good at blending in, playing hide-and-seek with its prey, and who knows, maybe world domination. Even though Archaeothyrus isn't a famous animal, it had its moment in the limelight. Scientists geek out over it because it's like finding the original draft of a famous novel. It gives us a peek into the early chapters of reptile evolution. So next time you see a lizard basking in the sun or a snake slithering through the grass, just remember, they owe a little nod to the OG Archaeothyrus. Number 5. Adaphosaurus Adaphosaurus was quite the character back in its day. It used to roam around during the Permian period about 300 million years ago. Found mainly in North America, this herbivorous creature was a member of the synapsid group as well, rocking a distinctive sail on its back that set it apart from the crowd. When it comes to size, it was like the size of a mid-sized car, measuring around 6 to 9 feet or almost 2 to a little less than 3 meters long. And that sail stretched it even taller. It was just like the Dimetrodon's stylish cousin, but with a vegetarian twist. Edaphosaurus was not a meat-eater, it was a full-on vegetarian, an herbivorous dimetrodon-looking animal, chomping down on plants like ferns and other low-lying green goodies. It likely spent its days wandering around swamps or forested areas, doing its best to stay away from the more carnivorous pals in the neighborhood. Number 4. Mastodonsaurus Mastodonsaurus was a total standout in the prehistoric lineup. Picture this. Around 240 million years back, during the Triassic period, these colossal amphibians were making waves in ancient lakes and rivers. Mastodonsaurus lived in what is now Europe and parts of Africa. It was no small fry, it was a hefty fella, measuring up to 16 feet or almost 5 meters long. This was like a salamander but the size of a small bus. When it came time to chow, Mastodonsaurus likely had a varied diet, gobbling up anything from fish to other small amphibians. This creature was probably a top-tier predator in its watery habitats, using its size and powerful jaws to snag a meal. Now, Mastodonsaurus might not be as famous as the dinosaurs in today's blockbusters, but its influence on our understanding of prehistoric life is pretty epic. It's one of the unsung heroes of the Triassic era. Number 3. Scutosaurus Scutosaurus was the herbivorous tank of the prehistoric scene. This ancient reptile inhabited Earth during the Permian period, around 250 million years ago. It kind of looked like a hybrid between a turtle and a lizard. This creature was primarily found in what is now known as Russia and Kazakhstan, thriving in the arid landscapes of that era, measuring approximately 8 to 10 feet or 2.4 to 3 meters in length, and weighing roughly around a ton. Scutosaurus was a sizable herbivore. Its robust body was featured by stout legs and a distinctive feature, its thick, bony plates that covered its back. These plates acted as armor offering protection against potential predators. The Scutosaurus had a varied diet of plants and vegetation. Fossil evidence suggests it fed on low-lying vegetation and shrubs, using its sturdy beak to crop and consume plant matter. I love this thing because it straight up looks like a turtle I can hug, and it looks like nature is trying to figure out what the heck a turtle is going to be with this one. Number 2. Moss Chops Meet Moss Chops, a peculiar mammal-like reptile that roamed the Earth approximately 260 million years ago with probably the funniest name of any prehistoric creature, Moss Chops. Resembling a curious blend of a mammal and a reptile, Moss Chops boasted a robust body and notably thick skull, hinting at its unique characteristics among prehistoric creatures. It was found in what is now South Africa, and it existed during the Permian period. Moss Chops stood out amongst its contemporaries. It measured around 10 feet or 3 meters in length and weighed several hundred kilograms. Its physical feature included a very thick skull, likely that served as a defensive and intraspecific combat purpose, reflecting its adaptation 
adaptation for survival in a competitive environment. Moss Chops was also an herbivore, opting for a plant-based menu in the rich ecosystems of its time. Its chunky, very barrel-like body suggested a slower pace of life. Scientists also speculate that its unique skull structure might have been adapted for powerful jaw muscles, aiding in the consumption of very tough plant material. Despite its somewhat comical appearance, Moss Chops plays a significant role in our understanding of pre-dinosaur life. Its fossils contribute valuable data to paleontologists, helping piece together the puzzle of Earth's evolutionary history. While Moss Chops might not have achieved the celebrity status of some of the other prehistoric creatures, its fossils contribute valuable data to paleontologists, helping us piece together the story of Earth's evolutionary history. Number 1. Horseshoe Crabs I know, they still exist, but there are number one. Horseshoe crabs are often referred to as living fossils, have existed on Earth for an astounding 450 million years. These remarkable creatures may have not grabbed the spotlight like dinosaurs, but their longevity showcases the power of simplicity in evolution. These guys originated during the late Ordovician period and have persisted through the various geological eras, making them one of the oldest species still in existence. These resilient critters are found along the eastern coasts of North America and the shores of Southeast Asia, primarily dwelling in shallow coastal waters. They measure only about 20 inches in length. Horseshoe crabs sport a distinctive hard exoskeleton and a unique horseshoe-shaped carapace. Despite their ancient appearance, their survival strategy is quite straightforward. Simplicity, they feed primarily on worms and mollusks, scavenging along the ocean floor with their specialized legs. Their behavior includes remarkable annual migrations to breeding grounds where females lay thousands of eggs, providing a crucial food source for shorebirds. This is one of the most interesting things about horseshoe crabs. Their blue copper-based blood contains a substance called limulus embocete lysate, also known as LAL, which is crucial for detecting bacterial endotoxins in medical applications. Furthermore, their presence in ecosystems, horseshoe crabs literally use their ancient DNA, their 450, nearly 500 million year old DNA, to help human beings figure out diseases and help advance the human species. There's nothing more beautiful than that. And they do it with blue blood. I've gotten a chance growing up in Florida to see a lot of horseshoe crabs in my life. They are definitely one of the coolest things that exist on planet Earth, and not a lot of people know they exist. So go show these critters some love next time you see them. And help flip them over if you see them flipped over on the sandbanks of a beach. From the amazing horseshoe crabs chilling on the shorelines, to the cool cat Dimetrodon, owning the pre-dino landscapes with its flashy sail. We went on quite a journey here, talking about the Earth before the dinosaurs showed up on the scene. And we've been doing top 10s of all different kinds of eras. From the Triassic to the Jurassic, the Cretaceous, and even the Ice Age, we highly suggest you watch some of our other top 10 videos about these amazing prehistoric creatures. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, leave us a dino-sized thumbs up. Also become a member, if you can join this channel it'll go a long way to helping us keep creating incredible content just like this. And we'll see you guys on the next one, goodbye.